Welcome back, everybody, to Aridia City. So, where we last left off, I think the gym leader, they said he was over here in this side of the, this exit. So, there's two exits to the town, and then there's the gym. And this one looks like it goes to the ruined castle, I think. Old Aridia is a bit of a tourist attraction. While it's not very well preserved, it attracts mainly, mainly, many, the history enthusiasts to come and see it. There we go. Reading is hard, people. <laughs> uh, old Aridia. Okay, so it's like the old city. Now, they did say the ruins is where he would be at the prince. So we need to find him and tell him to get his butt back to the gym so we can whoop him. Now, I do think that since there's so much sand here, he's probably a ground type gym leader. So water and grass would be fine, but we don't have any of them. Oh, this fell off. How do I get back up? Oh, okay, there's a slope here. And that looks like the ruined castle. So the structure has been abandoned for years. Not much is left inside. These have robbed and stolen most of the artifacts. However, there are rumors of an even greater treasure that lies deeper within. A Pokemon. Ooh. Oh. 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 That's a huge Pokemon. Okay. Uh, I think I have a... No, I don't have a Hippopotas. Otherwise, I would have evolved it already. I don't know. Anyways, let's just try and catch it. If it takes too much effort, I'm going to leave it alone. But if it's if it doesn't look like it's gonna be a problem, I'll probably try and catch this just because I can. And also, my boxes are getting full, so I think I might if um I continue the series, I might actually end up having to buy the expansion pack, which altogether should be about twenty bucks, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I usually don't spend money on these things, so that would be the first time I spent money on Roblox just to have a whole Pokemon. But I do want to collect them all, like all, like 600 or whatever there are. Come on, stay, stay, stay. Oh, you troll. You trolled me so hard. <laughs> um, let's try it again. It's going to take poison damage again, so I think we have one more turn to catch it, or two more before it dies. So let's try a Great Ball now, just because I don't want him to die. I value that Pokédex number. Come on. Don't troll me, bro. Yeah, stay in the ball. Awesome. Alright, so we have a Hippowdon now. Um, I don't remember if we have a Hippopotas, which is its um, original form. Oh, and we leveled. Alright, that's nice. Isn't that nice of you to give us a level buddy? Thank you. Oh, you are. Oh, is he gonna try to fight me? Oh, you scumbag. Just waiting behind rocks to fight people. I just got out of the castle. There isn't much that I could find in there. Pretty neat piece of history, though. I'm ready for battle now. I hate you. Adventurer Samson. Like, can you imagine if this was real and there's just a guy waiting behind a rock to fight you? That's like, he'd probably be like, hey, leave me alone, bro. Alright, let's see if we can bite him to do a lot of damage. I don't know if it will do a lot of damage, but, oh, it's not even super effective. Okay, let's try Earth Power. I thought it was super effective, that's why I used it. Okay, so we're not doing too much damage with anything. Let's try Body Slam. I think Earth Power and Body Slam should have the same kind of range for power yeah i think body slam does a little bit more though so we're gonna need to stick with that perfect i was a little bit worried because he had two levels up on us um i remember before obstinix wasn't doing too well against pokemon that outscaled him and i need to train amber soon so i'm gonna try and put amber at the front of the team next see if she can do some damage uh guard of war so i think dark pulse should be fine enough boom Oh, it's not nothing super effective on anything. <laughs> uh, let's try Shadow Ball. I think this should be super effective, if not. Yeah, never doubt the Shadow Ball. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> the one time I switch up from Shadow Ball, it ends up being what just finishes it. Time for my next adventure. Yeah, stop hiding behind rocks, bro. It's creepy. Alright, so let's go inside. There's Terran W. What'd you find in there, Terran? You find anything evil? Witchcraft, voodoo. Voodoo! Alright, we're going inside. Either ways, we're gonna find out for ourselves. Oh, what is this? Get out of the way, fool. Team Eclipse will be taking this jewel back to our base of operations for examination. We believe it may be part of an old legend. You will give me that jewel and leave promptly, or things will get real ugly for you guys. Oh, what's the big bad prince gonna do? He's a gym leader, you idiot. <laughs> you have no power over us. I've warned you fairly. If you do not hand a jewel over, I will have to take it by force. The jewel has been under my family's protection in this castle for centuries. I'm not about to let some punks walk out of here with it. I'm afraid that may be your only option, your highness. You're outnumbered after all. Heh. <laughs> no, you're not. Oh, hello, young trainer. What an unexpected surprise. Yeah, I'm already a city's gym leader, but as you can see, I'm busy taking care of these goons. 
Hey, who who you calling goons? It looks like you already have a few badges of your own. You may you must be pretty tough. Would you mind assisting me in battling these punks? They've stolen a priceless artifact from the pedestal up there and are threatening to take it with them. This castle has been under my family's protection for he just said this. Don't say it again. <laughs> If there's no stopping him, yep, I'm gonna help you. I'll take this half, you take that half. You can stop us with an army, fool. Prepare to be crushed by our power. All right, so we got Tongue Boy right here, and we got the dude with the hat. Bring it on. You're gonna get whooped, all right? Ellipse Grunt on Anais. Uh, Arbok. Okay, option X, go. Handle business. Oh, no, that's not good at all. Let's see if Earth Power can do it, though. I think it's Poison type, so Earth Power should be good. He's level 53? That's no joke. So we need more- we have more leveling to do, definitely. Which is nice. There's nice- it's nice to know that this game isn't easy, like, you have to level. Most Pokemon games, if you spend time leveling, you're over levels, like, fairly easily. Like, I think 44 would be going to the Pokemon League. Like, kind of. Skuntank. Um, let's try Amber now. Actually, Amber, this is not the time for you. These are poison types, so we're gonna keep using Earth Power. Like, as much as I want to train Amber, like, forcing her into a battle is not going to do anything. Ooh, that did so much, and I'm at 3 HP, so I think now's the time for a Hyper Potion. Get him! So we're going to heal all the way, because I really want Obstinex to get these levels. These are good levels for him. Her, her, her. What? You just crit me like that? Oh, that's so scummy. Um, Body Slam. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. You can survive 60. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, no. No. Oh, man. That's such a crummy ability. So we wasted a hyper potion. Um, oh, shift tree. We can try using aerial ace. So it's a grass type. And it missed. Haha. -ha. But aerial ace doesn't. We do so little damage, man. But I think three... Actually, let's try flying. He missed twice while I would be raging if I was him. Like, whenever my attacks miss that many times, I always, like, go in and I get upset. And then, Oh, he hit me in the air? How do you know? Oh, my goodness. Wow. That is some great AI. <laughs> okay, I missed. Too good. Like, it knew what was going to fly. Unless, unless it used that attack while I was in the air. I don't know. I don't know if he used it early or not. Like, it predicted my move. But still, we win. <laughs> That's the noise she made, not me. Um, okay, next guy. I'll take it from here. You, you're gonna lose from here, buddy. Let's see. Epic, uh, Eclipse Grunt, not Epic. Larry sent out a Raichu. Uh, right now, I wish I had Option X because... I don't think any of my attacks are gonna do much to Raichu. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, status effects seem to be a lot higher in this game. I'm gonna try and swap out just because there's nothing Altaria can do right now. Uh, let's try Lukey Bear. Don't think Electric will do too much to Lukey Bear. Or will it? Oh man, that's disgusting. Alright, so Lukey Bear, you're gonna go down here. I'm sorry, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, buddy. Unless this Aura Spear kills him, can it? No, Lucky Bear, you failed me. You failed me, Lucky Bear. For shame. Actually, Aura Spear is not a physical move, is it? So I think Force Bomb and Aura Spear can do two sets of damage. So I should actually look into that and see. Oh. Okay, so he has two stuns now. Don't stun me. Wow. Like, you, my face is just in, in, it's in complete disbelief right now. Incomplete and utter disbelief. Um, let's see, Samuel. Can you outspeed Raichu? Can you do this for me, Samuel? Okay, now you can't do that for me. Stop killing my Pokemon. But then again, he has a nine levels up on us, so I actually shouldn't be that surprised at the damage he's doing. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, Trevenant. Trevenant is a ghost tree. Hopefully, we can outspeed a tree. So, we're going to use Shadow Ball. And, yeah, yeah. We outspeed him, but he's nine levels, eight levels actually now up on us. So, I don't think we'll kill him one hit. And he'll probably get us now. Let's see what attack he uses. Forced Curse. Alright, um, don't know what that did, but we're going to Shadow Ball him anyways. And, hopefully, we collect the W right here. 
Hey, perfect. Alright, and that's a lot of XP. It's like 2,000 at a time. Great. Uh, and hopefully the gym leader beat his two trainers. If he lost, then we're gonna we're gonna get beat up. This can't be. We were given some of the toughest looking Pokemon that were at the base. How tough a Pokemon look does not determine the outcome of a battle. The bond you and your Pokemon share is what ultimately declare, declares who is winner. People and Pokemon are not meant to share some silly bond. Pokemon should not be used like tools in the first place. If people like you didn't exist, maybe we wouldn't have to. Either way, we've been we've beaten you. You will hand me that jewel and you will leave at once. <laughs> Wait, the jewel isn't necessary to their plan, so why did they take it? I just figured we would get reward for bringing it back. Our ultimate plan is about to come together and you will both perish with the rest of this world. Goodbye, fools. It'd be funny if one of them just picked it up on the way back. <laughs> Look at his face, he says, smiling. Well, that certainly was quite drastic. Those fools talk a lot about power and destruction. With that attitude, I think they will find most of their battles ending with the same results. Defeat. Anyway, I really owe you for showing up and helping me like that. Here, I want you to have this. HM6. Is that rock climb? What is that? Um, Or strength or rock smash. Rock smash, yeah. It allows you to remove crack bowlers that wind up in your way along your path. You won't be able to use rock smash outside of battle without the Iridia City gym badge, though. I'll head back and open palace now. It would be an honor to have a battle with you. The jewel that D Team Eclipse tried stealing is actually a significant part of this castle's history. There's an ancient legend tied in with it. That's a story for another day, though. I must be off now. Okay. Seems legit. Seems legit, bro. Alright. What is this? Can we click on it? No. Can we click on the walls? No. Oh, there's Pokemon in here? Ekans. Nice. Um, let's see if we can get some damage out on Ekans. So I'm pretty sure if we go and fight the gym, we're gonna die. But I'm still gonna do it. Um, he might have a type that we can beat, so it's still worth a shot. Um, after this gym or after this episode, I'm probably gonna level up a bunch. Oh, I think we caught it. It just popped up a badge award, which means we caught the Pokemon, right? Yeah, Brick Bond is always telling on itself before it happens. That's funny. All right, so I think we got a hundred Pokemon. Let me check. Do we have a hundred different pokes? Yes. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. So, oh, this place expands more out. So, Rock Smash over there you can go, and that place is blocked. So, I think you can go deeper into the tunnel there. What? Zoroa? I thought that was a legendary, or like a pseudo-legendary. And it's just here chilling in a cave? Okay, that's fine with me. Don't, do, oh my god. Let's see if we can find it again. Please not be rare. Please not be rare. Oh my goodness. You know, it's really frustrating because it's the same Pokemon on my team that keeps killing Pokemon when I'm trying to catch it. Okay. Like, this is why I don't train Amber. So we'll come back here and catch it later, but that was really frustrating. Like, my, my, my spirit hurts. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. And I think we can just actually just fly back to the gym. There's no reason for us to walk through here. So I'm gonna fly back now and we'll go heal up as well and then we'll take on the gym and see what type of how strong his like first his assistants are. And if his assistants are too strong, then it looks like we won't be able to fight him. But if they're not too strong, then we can just take him out. And then we can level up after that. We'll probably need to get to like around 50 or 55 after this gym to be relevant anymore. Because right now, we, we were getting whooped by everything. Alright, so let's fly over there. wonder if it's going to be a cutscene. Nope, the gym bat. The door is just open. Please don't fight me. Okay, good. The prince is really down to earth. He also throws the greatest parties. Alright, alright, alright. I see. I dig it. I dig it. Anything over here? No, no. Okay. Let's go inside. In the back of the palace is the entrance to the Aridia City of Gym. Alright, alright, I dig it, I dig it. Alright, so, let's save. And the gym is right here, right? This is it? No, it's up the stairs. Okay, I'm stupid. I'm a baka. Alright. I wonder what those other doors lead to. I'm not really sure. Um, why can't we turn the camera? Oh, we can. Welcome to Erdy City Gym. Here our gym leader likes to hide underground with his Pokemon. To get him to 
To get them, you'll need certain tools. To get these tools, you need to find gym trainers and battle them. Once you have a tool, you can dig into the ground and look for the next gym trainer with a tool that will allow you to go deeper. The gym leader himself usually weighs pretty deep in the mine. Good luck, and if you need to start your dig over, simply leave the gym and return. We will have to put everything back the way it was. Alright, so there's only one trainer here, so I assume we have to fight him to get to the next part. So let's actually put Lukey Bear at the front, maybe? Let's see what that does. If you want to shovel the dig in this dirt, you'll need to beat me. Minor Chuck. Gastrodon. Whoa, level 40, I mean 53, I'm only 44. That's super, super strong. Yeah, I don't think we should be taking him on. Oh my goodness. Yeah, after this guy, we're leaving. We're not ready yet. Like, we're getting, we're getting checked. Okay, he missed. That's good. We're going to swap out now so that Luki Luke doesn't die. And we will switch to Obstinix. Ooh, we got him with poison. That's nice. Alright, so now I think Body Slam should be able to do it. I was going to try Earth Power, but I don't think Earth Power works on these. Oh, we don't do any damage. Nothing we do does any damage. Um, and I don't have a grass type now that I think about it. So, yeah, this is pretty bad for us. We, we, need, we only need a couple of levels, but we need a couple of levels across multiple Pokemon. Um, Whiskash. We also need a grass type for that. Grass would be so perfect in this gym. Let's try Amber, though. Um, most of the ground moves can't hurt Amber. So, a lot of the moves will just need to be super powerful in order to hurt her. Um, and then watch him one-shot me. Dragon Pulse, let's see. Oh, okay. Fisher is a one-hit KO move. Thankfully, it doesn't hurt me because I'm flying. But if he did one-shot me, that would be pretty messed up. Alright, he doesn't do that much damage. Plus, our leftovers are kicking in. So, we'll just keep um, whittling him down with some Dragon Breath. Alright, nice. We got the stun off. And the only thing he can do looks like muddy water. And we're healing half of it back up. So, he shouldn't be able to kill us before we kill him. And this battle would go a lot faster if I had a grass Pokemon. So, I definitely wish I had a grass Pokemon. I have an electric type, but it never crossed my mind to get a grass type. Or maybe one of my Pokemon can learn a grass move. That would be a plus. Well, you've earned your shovel as a reward, because we just need a move that would hurt his Pokemon. All right, you win. Here's your shelf as promised. All right. Oh. Oh. Okay, so is this how it works? All right, I'm gonna return to surface. And like I said, we're not strong enough yet, so I think it'd be best if we come back another time. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll come back here once we're like level 50, and we will fight him later. But for now, since we have a couple minutes left, what I want to do is let's go back to one of the starting towns, and let's catch a Pokemon that somebody told me I missed. Because apparently, I missed a Porygon in the starting town, like one of the first gym leaders. I think it was the first gym leader, actually. So let's go back there. I keep hitting Pokedex. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. We can fly. I think, what was it called again? Sylvan City? I think it was Sylvan City. No. Um, where was the first gym at? Midas Town. Let's try Midas. Oh, Midas Town is my hometown, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we can heal right here real quick. Okay, so I, I accidentally got the towns mixed up. There we go. So it's not Midas. It's actually Sylvan City. Oh, here it is. All right, I couldn't read the map properly. I just assumed that the, the bottom right was where we started. So apparently, if you check the broken computer back here in the 
pokey thing because a lot of the times I, when I say something weird's happening, I just don't know how to fix it. We said if um, there's something weird in the PC, apparently in the back of the wallpaper is a Porygon. So let's just save it and see if that's true. So you have to look at the wallpaper right in the back where you see Pokemon scaling through. And if you see Porygon, apparently you can click him. So I've never seen it before. Um, so I assume he's going to be colored in. And does any of these look colored in? Mm, I don't know. I don't see him. And also, I don't know what I'm looking for. So that's a problem. So what we're going to do is... I heard close it and... Oh, here he is. Oh my goodness, it was actually right. Awesome, okay, so that's one thing I thought was wrong. So should we kill him? No, I'm just kidding. Um, probably gonna just use an Ultra Ball or a Great Ball or a Poke Ball, that could be fine too. That's pretty cool. I like how since it's Roblox, you can do things like this. Like the original Pokemon games can take a, a tip from these guys. It's just, it's like little things like that make the game a lot cooler. Um, a lot of the time, like I remember in Pokemon Sun and Moon, almost every item was handed to you by somebody, which was pretty annoying. Like, um, you got an Aerodactyl, I think, from somebody just from in a warehouse, and then somebody gives you both the Magmarizer and Electrizer, which are used to evolve Electabuzz and Magmar, and they just hand you them, so I'm just like, what? You didn't even have to do anything, like you didn't battle, so it's, it's pretty nice to see, like, all these Easter egg stuff. Alright, um, Porygon, you need to stop this. So we're gonna hit him with, uh, Ultra Ball. Enough of the games, Porygon. Stay in the ball. You're level 5, buddy. Oh, are you, are you serious? At this point in the game, you're supposed to only have Pokeball, so the fact that an Ultra Ball didn't work on him is actually pretty gross. Alright, maybe, maybe he's just being stingy. And the, okay. I actually don't know what to do. Because all my Pokemon are too strong. I did save it so I can always pop back out, but I didn't want to. I also don't want to spend all my Ultra Balls on this thing. It's just a level 5 Pokemon. Stay in the ball. Alright. Let's rub our hands together and let's pray. Stay in the ball. RNG, please. Can you please just stay in the ball for me? It, it doesn't look like it's going to behave. I might have to uh, reset and then just redo the battle with weaker Pokemon. I'm gonna try one more. Because if I use all my balls, I'm gonna be upset, so I might as well just reset with weaker Pokemon. There we go. That was pretty frustrating. <laughs> it's level five, why was it putting up such a fight? All right, so we caught Porygon. And also, I heard there's a Trick Room TM in this town as well. So we're gonna go do that. Um. The room that I said was suspicious before apparently has trick room. Um, I think it's this place. So I think you climb up here. Then how do you climb up here? I don't know how to climb up these things. All right. Um, does anybody know how to climb up properly? Oh wait, there we go. So I think you're supposed to climb up on one of these things and it eventually gets you into the trick room or maybe it's not this room let's check the other house it's one of these two houses yeah it's that original house it's just trolling me it won't let me climb <laughs> let me climb please because then people are gonna think I'm crazy I, I know I know it's in here oh Except I just don't know how to climb. Like, is there a button to press to climb? He'll climb that, but he's not going to climb anything else. All right, so it's not going to work, apparently. So I think I might have to just call it a day here. So, um... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. All right. So we found TM92, which is Trick Room. That was annoying. Like, why did it do that? Man. All right. Anyways, we got that. So I think that's all the se um the secrets here. Now, if anything else, the only other secret we're missing in this town is this unexplained thing where it's like, oh, you have to go down here. It's never explained what this is for yet, and I don't know what it is for yet. So hopefully it will be explained in due time. But we're gonna cut the episode short for today. Um, 
we got everything i do need to level grind so i'm probably gonna do that um i'm probably gonna in between episodes i might go catch shaman as well so if i'm around for that and rotom um i will probably film those but hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for, blah, 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 for more pokemon brick bronze content this is phoenix and as always i will see you guys later bye